my view is I want to be quiet and I can't put emotion into anything or do nothing because unfortunately it's late. Everyone's in bed. Mum's gonna crack up because she's not in bed anymore. Dad was up having a fag in the dark. Mum's now up playing games in the dark. And my brother's asleep. And this is the only time I could think of making anything because I don't have any time on my hands to do anything again. I like to relax and have a break. And so people actually know these pants are actually dirty because I've been working and I've been doing a lot today. I was actually getting dirty this morning, but all day I've been helping my mum with her chooks and monitoring them, keeping my eyes on them, looking after them. Unfortunately, and this morning I was uh, sanding a car, but later on during the day, uh, we, me and mum were doing the chickens. I was helping her catch them and make sure they stayed in the corner so then they wouldn't run about and she wouldn't know which ones are which from the pack that needs to be washed and which ones didn't need to be washed. And that was kind of hard considering the chickens run pretty quick and agile little creatures that, uh, you know, one second they're looking that way, the other second they're looking the other way and you going for the original position sort of thing or you're following straight behind them. It's kind of tricky but if we do it, we manage. Uh, man, it's been so hard to do any videos and I figured I'd stop doing my video series for AIE because I just don't have time on my hands to do that stuff. Though I will admit, I have learned quite a lot and I feel like it's something I really would like to make a video for but I'm unsure whether I should keep going or not because it's just too hard. I can't even do video editing because I'm not that great. This camera is awful, it's good for getting information but in comparison to other people's cameras I'd say either my method is awful or something about this is very low quality. I mean I have bright room right now, I mean, that doesn't change much, but, quite a time too, I can say, yeah, I know, I'm tired, I'm always tired, I have these new shoes, they're already breaking down, you get cracks in them, I can't afford a new pair, so, I've got to scrap that, as an idea, and I've been thinking about a lot of things, one is my career, and another is how I'm going to achieve some of the goals that I want to achieve. There are some things that I can do, there are some things I can't do, and there are some things I need help with. So, in so many ways, it's just too hard. For now, I've got to stick with my career and hope that I can pull something out of my jacket so that I can do something really, really good. I feel like doing animations, but that's not my speciality, and I'll never be able to excel in animating, because that's really uh, tedious and hard. I already tried with a mechanical wolf. That um, turned out really bad. And because I don't understand that stuff, there's no point in me trying to do anything with it. But there is things I'd like to do, to do don't really want to do. Just when I want to go to bed, I'm feeling tired because I have to be quiet. There are so many things on my mind. I'm too, it's too bad that I'm not allowed to speak up. It's just pain. I made a video yesterday with my computer, showed you a game, by the way this is on the uh, Tasker channel, I don't know which channel I'm going to put this on yet, Tasker Studios, Tasker, probably doesn't even matter, I mean I don't have any viewers on the Tasker Studios channel and I might as well say it's a personal channel but it's not really considering I've made it open, it's more of a creativity channel, 
whereas the Talskar channel is more of a gaming challenge. I don't really do much gaming, do I? <laughs> I failed. I failed. All I can do is jump back on that horse and keep kicking harder and harder. <sighs> I got some pretty good ideas on what I could try to do with my gaming stuff if I ever get around to it. I haven't played a single game on my computer for quite a long time now. It's been quite a long time. I don't even know how many weeks, months, whatever you want to call it. I played on my DS, first at school, played a Wii. I haven't played any computer games as far as I remember. That, that's how messed up my time is. I just don't feel like playing games. It's, when I think about playing a game or go to play a game, I just feel tired or just don't feel bothered. And it just throws you out of a routine of, you know, I enjoy playing games, but I don't feel like playing games. I'm just in a corner where I don't know what I can do with what time I have. Whether I just work myself to death, which some people have said it's a really bad thing, you've got to enjoy your life to the fullest, or whatnot. i still got worries on my hands at the moment. My dad can't afford his record for his car. I've tried to offer him my car to drive, but he won't drive it because it's manual. It's really ticking me off. He says he's got a hunch that I'm going to sell the big black mumba, the truck I drive every day. Basically, one every day. I'm sorry, that's not a reason for it. And I'm going to drive the white Pajero that we have that I've been working on a lot. And he's been working on a lot. We've been both working on a lot. Because it's had a lot of work done to it. And he keeps driving his Pajero that he has. Because, honestly, the seating capacity is great on those vehicles, but... The problem is, the Triton is a work vehicle and the Pajuras are not the passenger vehicles. I want to have the second Triton going when I can, but I'm not really sure what I want to do. At this point in time, I know one car I'd save up for if I want a really decent working ute that's comfortable, luxurious, and it's a lot better than what I have. And that's sort of good and bad. It's the new Triton, which is the Exceed. It only comes in automatic, which really stinks. But, hey, it's a luxury on its own, isn't it? It'll have a lot of power. Rated for a lot of things. <clears throat> I, I really feel bad that I can't do anything. I can't upload videos. I can't make anything that I would love to make. It's just like creative mind that has to die. And so many things. I see a lot of things. I have a lot of inspiration. I get inspiration from people, I get inspiration from things. Fucking GDHO, wow. Big deal. Well, it used to never be something that I was interested in, now it's something I'm interested in. Because, well, we have one and I never knew really what was so special about it. <coughs> Although ours isn't a GDHO, sorry. But it is a Falcon. One of the legendary cars of the 70s. It was built in 70. In the 70s, obviously. 1970, that's its build year. I have a fal fair lane. <laughs> Almost said Falcon. I have a fair lane. I don't own it, my dad owns it. And that's the car I want to drive one day. I want to own, I want to have it brand new. Restored classic. And it is a classic, it's one of the last best cars that ever came out. And the very first as far as I'm aware that came out with an electronic dash like it did. It was impressive and it was a lot 
car that I really would like, personally. I don't want to let go of when I get it going, but I've only got two years to scavenge what parts I could get, and there's no way I could do that. So, my career is the only thing that's going to get that car on the road, so that's why I've got no choice. And my career is in actually uh, game development. It's actually game design. I'm joining it in Adelaide, and that's where I hear Ratbag Games was a development company here, which were um, infamous for their control of cars, their physics and everything. They were doing really, really well. And they had the original Just Cause idea where they had tanks and all sorts of things. I saw the article only today, but now I know where my teachers, some of them came from. Others, well, they came from other areas and a lot of things. <sighs> I really would love to make something. Except, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Could always go ahead and get puppets and make a story and like, oh yeah, I made that bad, 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 bad. And have a fight, but I don't think so. I, I really don't know what I can create. I mean, I'm limited by my abilities and my talents of what I have and what I can grow on. But animation is something at the beginning and in a way you have to sort of have money to build on that and if I wanted to do animation well I'm limited by my endurance for doing any sort of art in that field I mean I could probably do basic models and then do faces, expressions and do what Film Cow did and the only reason I mentioned Film Cow is because I've watched a lot of his videos and you know he has really good content and he has good stories and whatnot. But the thing is, he's already said you start off with something, you keep pulling the idea and pulling and pulling it until you have it, it's nothing anymore, it means nothing. And so he killed off the idea by making the main character die, sort of thing. Well, the character it was related to. Then he has the grand finale he's doing, which unfortunately I didn't get to have a look at maybe possibly being a Kickstarter thingy, whatever you call it, sponsor for it. Because that was um, pretty cool. I mean, people, there are people out there that will disagree <coughs> and say shit. It's art, mate. If you don't like art, then you must have something mentally wrong with you because art's everywhere. Art's life. Art is what you wear like a t shirt. Art is what you do. Engineer. Mechanic. Um, farmer. He does a form of art. His art's clean and maintain and keep things in pristine condition to take care of the animals and make sure that his art repels a certain kind of creature or whatever you want to call it, there's art everywhere you have a pet, it's a form of art to you you can call it whatever you want a pet's a pet, deal with it sort of thing but a pet is a piece of art because you could be fussy about the pet, you could be fussy about the car. Me, I'm personally fussy about the car I want. I want the fair lane. And I am fussy, so that's the art that I like. I like that piece's art. That's what I want. Ah, uh, the white Triton. Kinda fancies me a little bit. The Exceed, it's nowhere near as good as the Fairlane to me, but I want it, I just don't like the plastic wrap all over the car. I prefer the metal finish, I prefer metal, not plastic. I, I don't know who here likes plastic 
things all over their car, but I don't. There's metal, it seems solid, and when it's chrome, well, it's a little bit tougher than normal, and it's, it's pretty cool to have. Although I wouldn't mind carbon fiber if it's really strong and can look as good as steel, but it doesn't look as good as steel. I might as well stick to steel metal. Only thing I really do not like about metal is all the impurities and the lime that's in metal and that causes it to rust. That's why metal is a problem. If anything, my car I'll have it rebuilt, the body and everything, and I'll have it made out of stainless steel. And I'll make it as powerful and light and cheap as possible for a run. But it won't be an easy build, considering it'll be very expensive. But I can pull that off. The car will be immaculate forever. That would be an awesome goal to achieve. It'll be too expensive though. Poor. I don't know how many of my friends, I don't know how many of my random viewers, I don't know anyone, if they're still watching my channel or still seeing what I'm posting or whatever. I don't know if anyone has any interest anymore. And I don't know whether I should try. Because there's no way for me to do it. I don't have the time. And I do... Acknowledge if you do not want to stick around to this channel, and I apologize that you want to, and I'm sorry that I'm unable to upload or make videos or anything. I was hoping to save up a couple hundred bucks and have an animation made up, but that, that never happened. It's not going to happen. It's... It sucks. It really does. Eight hundred dollars. I could have had a nice animation. But the problem is, I don't have the resources available to me to do anything. I mean, I sell my car. I have resources, but then I don't have nothing to drive. I get stuck at home. I have nowhere to go. I have nothing to do. Whereas the car, at least. I feel like, you know, getting away from all the troubles and all the stress, just go for a cruise, it's there to do it at. But, the, the thing I look at when I go for a cruise is, that's time I could make a video in. That's time I could edit a video in. But sometimes it's best to just go. When there's problems and trouble and people chase you and tell you shit and annoy you, then it's best to just leave. I'm not interested in what my dad has to say about a game, which... It, it's just getting on my nerves. It, it's like another reason why I don't make videos. I mean, he's playing a game. It's called War Thunder or whatever it is. It's got tanks in it. He loves tanks. He drives the tanks in the game. And every time there's some form of problem, he comes to me and bugs the crap out of me. I'm watching a video, I'm in peace, I'm relaxing, and he just comes and bang, come my computer right now. It's, a, it's important. He's not paying me, he's not doing nothing for me for that. I just have to come with his computer and resolve his issue. And all I can say is, you know, my brother wasn't using the internet at the time. I wasn't using it, but mum wasn't using it, and I didn't have issues with the internet. But him, his game was lagging so bad, I couldn't even play it. I mean, you're driving along and the tank's like, bleh, 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 bleh. freaking how the hell are you supposed to drive when you're controlling it to drive straight, and it's turning when you're not. Ah, why is everything going cuckoo with my body? Well, I think I should just end the video there. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry. I suck. And I'm gonna have to try harder in the future when I ever get... Oh, God, stop it. Nose. Life's a problem for me, okay?
Life's a problem for everyone, everyone has their issues, but you guys will complain less about your life. I hope you enjoy my suffering, because it's just, just annoying. God. Broken hair getting in my nose and tickling it or whatever. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. All around.